This is your WCIA 3 forecast first, sponsored by Matax Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Hey guys, it's Kevin's Weather on the Road. How about the view we're going to give you right now from Sky 3 Drone? It's the majestic park here in downtown Paxton. What a view as we go up high and swing around. And there's the beautiful City Hall here in Paxton where the weather tonight, as you can see from the cloud cover, is quite cloudy. Let's show you the clouds now here on the satellite and radar picture. Oh, there we go. The clouds here, and it's keeping the temperatures down. We've got 51 in Champaign. Cooler up here in portions of Ford County. A little warmer down in Effingham at 57. Things tonight look pretty calm. That's back in Champaign and Neal Street. Temperatures in the mid-40s. All looks good for now. But tomorrow, thunderstorms, maybe severe weather, but you're going to love the temperatures. We're going to talk about those when we come back. WCA3 News. Live Kevin's Weather on the Road starts right now. Now on WCIA 3 News. A state trooper who died made his final trip home. How fellow officers honored him along the way. Plus, they're calling for an end to violence against Asian Americans, where this group gathered to make their voices heard. Also tonight, fire destroyed a central Illinois church. The pastor says the building may be gone, but the parish is still alive. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. Todd was a great guy that everybody knew, everybody liked. I really don't think anybody could have anything bad to say about him. An Illinois State Trooper was honored today, a day after his death. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. The body of Trooper Todd Hanneken was transported to a funeral home in Mount Zion this afternoon. WCI3's Bryce Beeman is live from there right now. And Bryce, the show of support, it wasn't just a line of cars in the street, but, but also along it. Yeah, people were lined up all down the street, even outside the funeral home, just just there to honor State Trooper Todd Hanneken. And I actually spoke to some state police right before this, and they said not only was he a great trooper, but he was also a great person and a great family man. Now, members of the community and Todd Hanneken, Excuse me, Todd Hanneken died yesterday after colliding into a tree. He was transported today from an Urbana hospital to a funeral home in Mount Zion. Illinois State Police, Mount Zion, Zion Fire, Macon County Sheriff's Department, and more assisted in the procession to honor the fallen trooper. Macon County Sheriff's Department said Trooper Hanneken was a great person in the community. He's from our community here, so it's just a loss to everybody. Not it's a loss to everybody in the community, the state police, Mount Zion community. I know he was real big in the, his kids were real big in the sports here as well. Like I said earlier, people even stood outside the funeral home and along the street to pay their respects to the fallen trooper. Now, we are unsure currently about the funeral arrangements at this time. In Mount Zion, I'm Bryce Beeman, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Bryce, thank you. Strangers were lining the streets, as she said, in a show of support. Those who knew him are doing it in their own way. People put flags at half staff and made signs to remember him. WCI 3's Jamie Mays joins us now. Jamie, you spoke to many who are feeling this loss. That's right, Paul, and they're devastated. Loved ones and neighbors are doing what they can to honor his life. People in Macon County are remembering a trooper and a man who was well-loved in the community. He's just a good guy. It's just the way he was. That's the way the whole family is. Todd Hanneken was in Bondville when he got into a car crash and died. The Macon County Sheriff knew him over 20 years. And I found out with him, um, I'll be honest, I, I, I dropped some tears behind that. You know, um, it's a good person. Hanneken was assigned to District 10 with the Illinois State Police and was a 20-year veteran. Neighbors say he was from Longview and always ready to serve. Anytime you lose someone in your community, not, not just because he was a state trooper, you know, it's just... That's just, uh, it's a big loss because, like I say, we're just all a real close-knit group. And uh, I just, I just, I was devastated when I heard it. Anytime you would run into Todd, it didn't matter how long you hadn't seen each other. He always had a smile to give and a kind word for you. He was just a genuine person. Um, never had a 
bad thing to say about anybody. His classmates put out a sign to remember him by. To honor and respect such a wonderful officer and person in general. Um, we need more people like him in this world. Now, after years of service and giving to others, Trooper Hannigan can finally rest. He served his community well. He served the state well. Um, so, you know, he's coming home. Um, not uh, for our own selfish reasons. Uh, we don't want to see him come home like this. But uh, uh, that being said, he's still coming home. Hannikin was 45 years old, a husband and father of two. Back to you, Paul. Just tragic. Jamie, thanks. Now, the Macon County Sheriff's Office posted on Facebook, quote, Trooper Hannikin will certainly be missed. Our deepest condolences go out to his family at home and at the Illinois State Police. More people are honoring lives lost, this time the Asian American women who were killed in a mass shooting in Atlanta. They gathered for a candlelight vigil at the U of I tonight. A group of engineering professors hosted it. They say it's been difficult to grieve together because of the pandemic, and this event gave them that chance. The first thing is to share the feeling that we are together. Um, another thing is that um, they uh, everyone can see that we are here not just to study and doing research, but we are also human beings. So we have feelings and we um, value each other differences. The organizers led the group in a moment of silence and then they lit candles. A church in Douglas County is destroyed. A fire broke out there early this morning. Happened at Sunnyside Mennonite Church in Chesterville. That's on Route 133 between Arthur and Arcola. WCI 3's Queen Rubio was there as the church burned down. And she spoke with the pastor about that loss. All at once, the, the sky just lit up really bright. Pastor Larry Rokey watched as the church he called home turned to ashes. Firefighters got the call around 2 in the morning. I thought maybe... From what, from what it looked like on the outside that maybe we could, we could cut it off and save it. But within a few minutes, it had run that, the length of the, of the attic. The wind pushed the flames to spread quickly. The fire had too big of a head start. When it gets past a certain point where you can't save anything, then it's easier to clean up if you let some of it burn and reduce the amount that goes to the landfill. But underneath all the debris are people who've made countless memories together. This church congregation is 150 members strong. The pastor says this is certainly a tough loss. A lot of caring people that they come here every Sunday to worship. Unbelievable and hard to grasp. Pastor Roki says Sunnyside Mennonite Church changed his life. I got saved in this basement back in 1990. But he says faith isn't housed only within church walls. It can be present anywhere. This is not the church. I mean, what you see is a building that that has burned and collapsed. Um, but the church is still alive and, and we're going to rise up and, and continue worshiping. In Chesterville, Karina Rubio, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Pastor Roki says they're in the process of finding a temporary place to hold services. The Arthur Fire Chief says the fire started in the north end of the church, but the state fire marshal will determine an exact cause. People keep getting vaccinated, but is that helping cut down on new cases? Also tonight. The trustees and myself had to file paperwork. An email led to no village candidates on the ballot. What they want people to do to fill those seats. Here we are, Kevin's Weather on the Road, walking down the sidewalks of beautiful downtown Paxton here by the Majestic Park here on this Friday evening where the weather, okay, I mean, it's not horrible, it's not great, it's kind of cloudy, but it could be a lot worse, right? Could be a lot better though. Look at the 81 we had back in 1907. Today's high was 51 degrees. Changes coming for the weekend. Thunderstorms, maybe a few of those that could be strong. We're going to talk about that and how the winds are going to pick up as well for the weekend and have more with our Sky 3 drone in downtown Paxton coming up.